So what is the electric skateboard builders movement? Well, Aha, this will come in handy for my new camera that's coming hopefully soon. I love the one I got my for my phone is great. It's really cool, but it's not really suitable for anything but your phone. Where this one has this thing in it and it, go, it mounts on top of your SLR. So, goes in like that. It's very similar to the one I got for my phone. There we go, nice little muff. Yeah, that will be a nice match for my new Sony camera that's coming. I wanted something record in 4K and I wanted something that could record much better slow motion stuff like this. This is a great camera. This is a 600D. Um, it's like 18 megapixels or something. And I've shot all of my inertion, all the photos you see on the website. Um, I shot with this, it's a great lens. What else have we got here? Scotch. It is scotch, is it? Oh no, it's not scotch. Okay, I know what this is. This is what I should have brought the first time. I tell you, man, that false economy. Uh, it's even, well, let me show you what I mean. This is the first one I got, right? Get that thing off. And when I bought it, it didn't look this small. But when I got it, I'm like, hold on, why is it so small? And it's shit. Like, like I had to, I had to glue that one together there because it snapped, and then it was really wobbly. And there's another one, that one there, snapped, and I had to glue it. So it's shit. If you're gonna buy one of these. Gorilla pods, do not get this cheap shit one. It's shit. This is a little bit more expensive. I think it was like 50 bucks, but it looks look like it's gonna be a bit more robust. And it, is that metal? That's got a bit of a, a tilt on it, a pan. It's not, it feels pretty smooth actually. That's good. So, yeah, you can see quite a bit of difference in size. So hopefully this one doesn't break around here. So yeah, there's a waste of, uh, this one was probably like 35 bucks and this one was 50 bucks. So false economy, I just wasted 35 bucks. Buy the good one straight away, guys. If you didn't work it out already, I've actually got a little bit of a camera fetish. I'll, let me tell you a bit of a story. Before Inertion, I used to be a cameras, a digital camera salesman. That's what I did, I sold digital cameras for a living. So I'm very passionate about photography and cameras and the technology. So that might help you understand why I spend so much money on this stuff. The electric skateboard builders movement is global. It has people from, well last time I checked my Google Analytics, 162 different countries. It's people who like building stuff. It's people who have a thirst for better stuff. It's Curiosity, it's about looking at things that are available off the shelf and thinking to yourself, well, it's not exactly what I want, can I make it better? It's having curiosity to investigate things and to self-educate about things you didn't know already and to teach other people. That's the beauty of the eSkate Builders movement. There's 
there's really no limits to what we can achieve. We can we can easily build better boards than the mainstream commercial brands. Yeah, we've proven that. We can build boards that serve our exact individual needs. We can express our artistic flair through the style of the end product that we create. And none of that is available with off the shelf products. You know, skateboarding has always been an expression of your style. You know, if, you, if you're not a skateboarder, I, I suggest you go and look at some of the old skateboarding videos. You will see that people have unique styles. Whether it's, you know, a vert ramp, pool skating um, in the early days or modern day street skating. Um, everyone has a unique style the, and, and flow. It's a style and a flow. If you look at the timing of a professional skateboarder's feet when they're performing certain tricks, there'll be a different rhythm, a different timing for the pop, the flick, everything happens uniquely and everyone's deck will be different as well. If you go into a pro tournament, the, what is it called? The not, let me look. Let me look at it. SLS Skateboard League something. Let's, let's just leave that running in the background. Um, but yeah, check it out. If you're not into skateboarding, watch some skateboard videos. This, okay, let's find, let's just skip through a little bit. In, you know, they've all got different decks. They've all got different, well, maybe not all different trucks, but they're, they're not all riding the same deck, are they? You know, and the style that they they have is unique. They don't all do the same tricks. There'll be there'll be similarities, but you will be able to see that there's a unique style. And that is what the electric skateboard builders movement is all about. The unique individual style that is within us all and it wants to come out. It doesn't, it's not something that just is inside you quiet. Maybe for some people, but for those of us out there who are creators, we can't sit and let that energy just be there and not be expelled. It needs to come out. It needs to be, something needs to be created to make us happy. And it's just like these guys. They're creating a flow, creating a movement. And it's expressed in a physical product when you go to build your skateboard. And you know, that's the best thing about the electric skateboard builders movement. Anyone can be a part of it. All you have to do is have an open mind, be willing to do some research and be, you know, not be a f absolute fuckwit, <laughs> you know, that, you, that won't go down well. Be a, a good person, you know, we're, we're a solid crew of people. We, you know, we're all mates. We we we've got to get along. We've got to we're in this together. You know, it's sort of like we're up against these big brands, these big corporate brands that are just trying to basically sell a shitload of product. Well, you know what? The bigger this movement gets, the more people that learn how to build an electric skateboard the smaller these big companies are going to be. They're going to start panicking. You know, just look at Evolve. They know that customization is important. That's why their new GT has all these wheel options. You know, oh, 
the most customizable board on the market. Well, it's not really. You can just build one and pretty much put whatever wheels you goddamn want on it. It's a big challenge actually for these big brands because what do you do? Do you disregard that entire community and, and say, look, they're never gonna be our customers. Let's focus on this segment of the population. Well, you know what? I bet you they were doing that for a while, but they're realizing that the, the electric skateboard builders movement, the community, it's actually taking this other segment that has been not really interested in making their own and it's slowly sucking people out of that segment into this builders movement and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and the big brand names they're in a position now where they're like okay we're not going to have a market soon the people that we were marketing to the easy easy fruit you know the low hanging fruit they get people are getting educated and it's happening because of the electric skateboard builders movement and the beauty of it is that at the end of all this there are going to be more and more people out there building their own really good electric skateboards and they're probably going to be better than what you can buy on the shelf and not everyone has 1500 US dollars some people only have 500 some people have much more and they want more um, so everyone's unique everyone's different you know the only way to satisfy the 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 masses is through educating people through knowledge the more knowledge that people have about how to make great skateboards the more people will choose to build their own. So if you need more knowledge, head over to the forums, electric-skateboard.builder and learn some stuff. And be open-minded. Don't be so, some people get on there and they're just real like know-it-alls and it, you know, be modest, be open, and be willing to learn. And, and, and yeah, try not to be a dick. <laughs>